Hey friends, so to finish up the rest of the Daedric armor, I had to make the leather skirt, the hip armor, and add some finishing chainmail details. The first thing that I did was make a pattern for the hip armor. It has some weird like spiky bits on the side and some flappy things down the middle. So I kind of just drew some stuff until things happened and I was happy with the shape. So then I pinned down the pattern on a four millimeter foam, traced it and cut it out. And then I cut two of each side, one for the left, one for the right. I then cut out the little flap things. Again, I only made half a pattern so that I could mirror it for the other side. And this way it's perfectly even. Next, I duct tape a pattern of some raised pieces that are on top and the bottom of each spike. And I draw it out, cut it out, put it on some patterning paper, cut that out, put it on foam, trace it, cut it out. And then I glue it onto the hip armor. Next, I round out the edges with my Dremel. And then I mark out where I want the rivets to go, and then I start melting the foam. Melting foam is quite toxic. Make sure you do this in a well-ventilated area with a respirator. I do this in my craft room, which has two really big windows that I can easily open, and I have fans going, and I have my respirator on. Okay, bird clock, listen here. You're always in the background of my videos. <laughs> So basically all these holes are where my googly eyes will go. This isn't necessary for when you're making rivets, but I do like the sunken in effect. I think it makes it look kind of cool. Plus sometimes googly eyes can be kind of tall, so I don't know, I just like this effect. But then I glue them in. Next, I pattern out the piece that sits on top and I was so excited to get this done that that's about, <laughs> that's about the last that I filmed of the hip pieces besides me heat blasting them and holding them into place in an up position to maximize the spikiness. So then I pattern out the leather pieces. I measure how long I want them to be and then I cut them out of some fabric that I got from Fabric Wholesale Direct. It was really cheap and this is actually upholstery fabric, not really meant for wear, but it works. Didn't need to stretch at all and I really like how heavy it is. It definitely feels like an actual piece of leather armor. Next, I cut out two of the piece I'm currently tracing. Feel free to skip to the end of the video if you want to see a detailed explanation on how I attach everything to my body. After I cut it out, I clipped it to make a really nice seam and then I sewed it. I got these sewing clips off of Amazon and it came with a super cute tin to hold them. Next, I used some cling wrap to make a pattern of those flappy things and I put it on fabric and cut them out. Then I sew them just at the sides. This way they have free flapping range. There's a lot of flapping happening in this video. I don't know what that's about. Next, I sit and contemplate life while trying to make the, while trying to pattern out the front hanging piece and then talk to myself, maybe, probably. That's probably what I'm doing. Then same as always, put the pattern on my fabric, trace it, cut it, all that beautiful stuff. I'm adding half an inch of seam allowance, by the way. I've been doing that this whole time. I just forgot to mention it. And I will be flipping this pattern so that it's mirrored and perfectly even. The most satisfying part of it all. Look at the clips. Oh my God, they're beautiful. And then I just sew it. To clip on the hip armor, I use some buckles that I stole off another armor set and then I just sew them on some straps. And look at how excited I was to finish. I forgot to film so much stuff. I forgot to film me sewing on the black detail pieces which you see her, which they were just leather and I machine stitched them on. Next is a chain mail. I'm just doing a really simple weave, you'll see it in a minute, but I end up just gluing it to the armor. And I did this before painting as I was like, oh cool, paint's gonna stick to it and give it like a worn effect, but I actually really hate it and so I've just occasionally been picking it off of the, the little rings. So this is how I put on the skirt. I just start by attaching the hip armor with buckles. And there's also Velcro on the hip armor and the skirt to keep the hip armor from flying around in the wind. Then I buckle it in the front with two buckles and there is a piece of black leather fabric that like same leathery fabric and that actually gets velcroed in the front. It's sewed on one side and then it gets like velcroed over 
the opening. Here you can also see that I airbrushed the leather, but I'll go into that in my painting video, which will be my next video on this channel. I also did some detail stitching with black upholstery thread all over the back of the leather skirt. And that's it. Here's some footage of the whole armor from like two weeks ago, which was unpainted back then. I really wish I could have left it black, but I'm trying to stay true to the game, so I had to add some like metal pieces and stuff. But for the most part, I try to keep it like just the way it was because I really, really liked that look. I hope you guys found this helpful or entertaining or I don't know, maybe you just like the word flaps and that's what kept you around. I don't know. For more behind the scenes stuff, I do have a Patreon and an Instagram. Thank you so much to my patrons, Adam Hunt, Aliar, Blue Panda, David Rosenbaum, Eric, Jim W, Kalika Kaiser. I think there's a spider touching my leg. Hold on. Logan Don Carlos, Malice Meridian, Mer Kitten, Neem Crane, Robert Gallardo, Rusty Shackelford, Ryan Craig, Sakura, Tone the Chicken Guy, and Valdemir. Thank you guys so much. Have an amazing day. Heart, heart, heart. Bye.